Now, in the last example, we had that fun extension at the end where we found all of the eigenvectors of matrix A that corresponded to a specific eigenvalue lambda. So we can actually summarize what we did in that extension with the following definition. So we want to begin by letting matrix A be an n by n matrix and letting lambda be some eigenvalue of this matrix A. So we can then say that the collection of all eigenvectors corresponding to lambda together with the zero vector is called the eigenspace. And we denote this eigenspace as capital E sub lambda. So now that we have the definition of this eigenspace, let's take a minute and think back to the extension of our previous example. So in the last example, we found that vector x being equal to x sub 2 multiplied by that vector negative 2, 1, is the set of all non-trivial solutions for matrix A times vector X is equal to 2 times vector X. So now using the definition of our eigenspace, we can conclude that this is equivalent to saying we have the eigenspace E sub 2 being equal to the set of all scalar multiples T for whichever variable your little heart desires, multiplied by the vector negative 2, 1. Alternatively, we could also say that this is equal to the span of the set of vectors negative 2, 1. Either form is perfect, so pick your favorite. <laughs>